Peggy 12. It's been such a passion project for us. It's been the game that we've really wanted to make. I can't wait for people to play it because we love it so much and I think everyone else will as well. I really do hope that they're surprised at the depth and, and breadth of the game. So we're almost through Circuit Paradise, which is exciting. It's also stressful and nerve-wracking. It's been hard work, but uh, I think players will see that it's been worth the effort. I'm hoping people are going to be really surprised with what's on offer, like the amount of content and how kind of deep that content goes. Incredibly excited to finally get Arcade Paradise out to the community and to people who are going to play it. Other people playing it for the first time is always brilliant because, again, we've been looking at this for, for years and we're so close to it, we just have no idea. We know it's good, but we've no idea how good it is. We've all been working from home and that in itself has presented its own unique challenges. For years I thought, oh, I don't think I could work from home. And then, you know, the sort of pandemic was looming and we thought, you know, let's get ourselves ready for it. And we sort of closed the office two weeks before. The office is being pulled down now, so we got turfed out of our office. And so we're all just working from home fully now. But actually it works really well for, for a team our size. You have to have that trust that someone is going to get the work done or that you can call on someone else to say, I need help with this. The whole team has, has supported me in the the challenges that I've gone through myself. It's been such a positive atmosphere to work in. It was a hard time, let's say, from a personal perspective. Early in 2021, I lost my brother, who actually was the guy who took me to my first arcade. So that was really sort of tough on a personal level. Um, and Wired were absolutely amazing about it. I went down and looked after my parents for like two months, so I was kind of out of action. That was definitely tough. I think not just on, on me, but I think the team, obviously, you know, I'm kind of game director <laughs> without a game director there. It's hard to, you know, to do that stuff. So the team are really good at being focused kind of by themselves. We're all very united in how we've worked, um, like even through all of the, the difficult times. And there are massive challenges with a small team on creating a game. You know, it's not, we're not creating one game, you know, we're creating 35 plus one really big one with loads of intricate systems. It's got to be balanced so the economy of the game isn't thrown out by one machine making more money than the rest of them. So there's there's a lot of stuff going on there. And it's two years of our our love that has been put into this. We've all put our our soul into this game, you know, and I think and I hope that people see that. Every game that you work on, the next game is improved on the last. Uh, and because we've worked on so many different little things, you know, I, I feel like we're in a position now where we could pretty much do any genre. The biggest takeaway is that, yeah, it has been an excellent learning experience. Seeing how many different games and how many different types of games we've got, it's been very much a varied experience. And that's been really good for learning a lot of things that I might not necessarily have done. As a small studio, it was definitely, I mean, it's definitely our biggest, but it's also a very ambitious game. Getting the sort of most mileage out of the things that you add in is, is really, really important. You get so wrapped up in the tiny little details that probably only like 5% of players will even notice, but those 5% that notice it will be like, oh, that is so cool. Every developer, when their game's about to come out, has got this slight, like, oh God, what are people going to think about it? Uh, like, a bit stressed out about what's the player's base going to be and how would they react and what's the comments are going to be about the game. You hope it's good, you think it's good, but until it's out there in the public can play it, you've got no idea, so... But, you know, it goes hand in hand as a developer. There was just such passion behind this project. You have to work on something that you're passionate about and it will work and people will see the the end product of that. We're so excited that we've got a product now and a game that we are proud of. We want the player to kind of take the things that they enjoy doing and run with them and feel rewarded for doing that. The game is fun. We've not, you know, it's not a hardcore business simulator. You shouldn't feel too stressed. It's about play some arcade games, clean a couple of toilets. Who doesn't like doing that?
I think the team have put so much passion into each one of the games and each one of the systems and I think that really shows through each game has been built from the ground up with kind of a lot of care and a lot of thought process put into why it's there. And I think, yeah, I think it's a massive achievement. They've just worked really, really incredibly hard to make this thing happen. buy the arcade but it doesn't get delivered straight away you have to wait until the next morning and so you know you go about your chores and then when it arrives you place it where you want to place it and then finally you can kind of walk up to it and play it and you know we want players to be a bit like oh what's this one going to be like and then you walk up to it and it's like ah right.